My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we'll be looking at the updated way of sharing files within G Suite. Now, sharing and collaboration is really at the core of everything G Suite does. And so you will be spending a lot of time sharing files with others. Now, once your document is ready to be shared, the first thing you'll do is navigate to the top right corner. That's where you see that big share button. Now, this is still the same as before, but once you click it, you get a brand new dialog box. Now, this box looks very different from the previous one. Now, the previous one had all the information in one box. Here, it is split into two sections. So we have the top section. This is where we add people and groups. And then we have the bottom section where it's all about getting a link to this file. So this is good for sharing it with very large groups or maybe even making it public on the internet. So the first thing we're going to do is at the top, we're going to add someone to our list. Now, I'm going to add someone by simply typing their name at the top. So we're going to type in their name and then we can add them. Now, in addition to adding them, we're going to have to give them certain editing rights or viewing rights. We can do that right now. We can change this here from editor to viewer or commenter. Now, a commenter can leave comments, a viewer can view the file but cannot change anything. These are still exactly the same as before. So let's go ahead and make this person an editor and let's notify them by sending them an email. Please find the file. We're going to send it and they now get an email and they get notified and they immediately have access to this file. Now there's one more thing we can do now. When we go back to that sharing menu, you can see that this person has now been added. I can now change the access this person has and I can even change it to be a temporary access. So here you can see we can change it to viewer commenter, but we have the additional option that says give temporary access. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click on this option and I can now easily add a date as to when the access to this file expires. So I'm going to make this, let's say, expire the 13th of June. And so now this person will have commenting rights all the way up to the 13th of June. After that, their access is revoked. So we're going to click on save and they will be notified of this change. Now let's dive back into that sharing menu and let's have a look at the bottom section of our new menu. So when you click on the bottom section, this opens up and we now have different ways of sharing a link to this file. First thing we can do is we can click on this drop down menu and we can either have a restricted link. That means that we share the link with people that already have access. That way we can create hyperdocs or we can link it in other documents, but the people still need access to the file even when they have that link. The second option is the domain. So if you are in a school domain and you select this, well, everyone within that domain will then have access using this link. This could be done as a viewer, again, a commenter or an editor. So when you share this link with people in the domain, they can open it. If they share it to their private accounts or their personal accounts, then they cannot open that link. And then the third option is anyone with a link. Now, this is great when you're sharing files out to the public and you want everyone to have access to it. Well, you can share it. Anyone with a link will have access and then you can change it to be an editor, a viewer, or again, a commenter. So the same three options are always there. Once you've done that, you're going to click on copy that link and we can now paste the link anywhere we want. We can put it in a URL shortener, we can add it to an email, we can link it in a hyperdoc or in a slideshow. And then one more thing within the new sharing dialog box is that we have our settings cogwheel. Now that's where we find some of the advanced settings that we used to have in the old sharing dialog box. So when we click on that, you can see we have two additional tick boxes there. The editors can change the permissions and then the viewers and commenters can also download, print or copy. If you do not want them to do that, simply untick these boxes and then share the file with everyone. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let us know in the comment section below this was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer, and I will see you in the next one.